hi everyone I uh, hope you're all well welcome back to Grove Kit uh, so I'm just going to do an episode today uh, just to update you on everything that I've got growing at the moment uh, fruit and veg wise uh, so I've got a little grow room set up in the house uh, with a new grow light uh, that I got for Christmas uh, so I'll show you that I'll show you what I've got growing in there uh, and then we'll move on to the greenhouse um, I'll show you what's in there and then I'll finally move on to veg pot uh, so if you want to join me uh, we've had some glorious weather in the midst of our lockdown I <laughs> uh, hope you're all doing well uh, so anyway uh, we'll get cracking and I'll show you what's going on I'll see you in a second all right guys uh, so welcome to my grow room uh, you haven't seen this before uh, but I got a new grow light for Christmas um, quite an expensive one but uh, it was about 70 pounds I think uh, but it's a good one uh, it's a Mizey 300R and it has the two switches uh, for veg and flower and unlike the cheap eBay Amazon ones uh, you don't need to put it really close to the plants uh, it's about two foot away at the moment and that seems about perfect uh, for the seedlings uh, so I've just got some underlay around here there's a mould um, uh, spare underlay uh, so I'll show you what I've got growing in here uh, so along the back here is pepper plants, sweet peppers uh, these are mixed varieties and frigatello, which is an Italian variety. Uh, so they're all doing well. And tomatoes here are Yellow Delight. Uh, I started all these seeds off uh, 21st of March. I think that's about perfect time for me to start these sort of seeds. Uh, I did try an earlier sowing, but they kind of failed, so I disposed of them. Um, the watermelon sugar baby, I've tried these a few times. Um, I've only had success with them once. Uh, that was the first year I grew them. And these are all saved seeds from the ones I grew the first year. Um, so I threw some seeds in and two of them germinated out of four. So <laughs> uh, that one's not doing so great, but that one's looks good. So I might try and put a few more of them in at some point. And just another tomato plant and another frigatello pepper. And the two remaining papayas. Um, so I don't know what goes on with these. Probably probably the temperature fluctuations or something. Or maybe overwatering. I have a habit of overwatering. Uh, but they keep yellowing off. The leaves dry up completely and then they die. Um, so they germinate fine. These ones have just germinated in here. Well, not just, but a little while ago. Uh, so they get to about that height, and then they're yellow. Uh, the leaves fall off, and then they die. Uh, so I don't know if it might be humidity, so I'm leaving the dome on that one for now. And I've sowed some more papaya in here. Um, so everything's doing well in here, guys. Uh, so I'll take you... Um, and show you something else in a second. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, guys. Uh, so we're in the greenhouse now. Uh, so I'll update you on everything that's in here. Um, so these are seeds that which we sowed a few weeks ago. Uh, so there's cauliflower. Uh, just coming up here. And the cabbage, uh, golden acre, uh, they've all come up now. Uh, I've got an empty cell there, so I might have to try and transplant something into that. And uh, the beetroot, uh, they've all come up quite well. And the snowball turnips. They've all come up. Yeah, something's been having a nibble. 
on a few of them, but I don't think it's slugs, I think it's probably some sort of beetle. Um, these two trays here what my daughter sewed. Uh, she's put some beetroots in there, some radish, a turnip I think, and I can't remember what else she's put in there, uh, but that row hasn't come up, whatever they were. Uh, and in here she sowed some flowers. Uh, I think the ones that have come up there are corn flowers. Uh, the temperature's probably fluctuating too much in here. Uh, it's not ideal for germinating because uh, things dry out quite quickly. Um, they're just a couple of experimental tomatoes. I've just popped them in there. They've been in there a few weeks and they're still alive. So even though the temperature does drop in here. Uh, they haven't died yet. Uh, they haven't grown much. but And in here's the carrots. The Chard Chardonnay red core. Just wait for this tractor to go past. Yep, so they've come up quite well. Uh, I haven't had much success with carrots, like ever, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping these will do alright. I'm going to harvest them early because uh, obviously the pots aren't that deep. And the peas never came up. And I did a test sowing in paper towel and they just went mouldy, so I think the seeds are no good. I think that might have actually been what was in here. Peas, yeah. Yeah, so the peas are no good, they won't come up. But they are almost three years out of date, so. Um, in here is radishes, so it looks like we've got something nibbling the leaves, uh, but I'm not too worried. And more carrots in here, uh, the early nantes, uh, they haven't grown as fast as the other ones, but they look like they're doing alright. And last but not least is uh, the onions. Uh, which I sowed in January, I think. Uh, but they're doing, they're doing really well in here now. Uh, so they'll be ready to go out soon, hopefully. Um, I've already got some onions outside. Uh, so I've got to take you over to the veg plot now. Alright guys, uh, so we're on the veg plot plot now. Uh, it's quite windy today, so apologies if there's any wind noise. Uh, but I'll take you around and just to give you a quick update in here, there's not an awful lot in here at the moment and uh, not much in the ground but uh, we'll start off here and I'll show you how everything's doing uh, so this is my current and gooseberry current, gooseberry, current and uh, so they're doing well uh, not many flowers on this one yet uh, but it might be a I think they're different varieties, so flowers might come at different times. Um, it has got a couple on it, not many. Uh, but my gooseberry bush, for the first time ever, so I've had it about three years. It hasn't done too well, it's been attacked by sawfly the last few years. Uh, but this year, it's doing really well, and it's got lots of flowers on it. So. Hopefully we'll get some nice gooseberries off this this year. And this current bush here um, has lots of flowers on it this year. So this is the most I've seen on this. Uh, it's about three years old, maybe four years old. Uh, it would do better in the ground obviously, but I want to be able to move it, uh, but it's doing well, and it's got lots of flowers waiting to open. Uh, so in here is grapevine cuttings, and a couple of seed sown grapevines. Uh, this one here is seed sown, so it's got buds just waiting to open on there. And this one here is seed sown as well. 
and you can see the buds there. And no signs of life from the cuttings yet, but uh, I'm not too bothered about them, so we'll see how they go. Now, if you wonder what these are, these are uh, sycamore tree seedlings, seeds. Uh, you know, the helicopter seeds, so they're popping up all over the place at the moment. So. And strawberries, no flowers yet, uh, but they're doing well. And my raspberry canes, there's three in there. I have one plant, but three canes from last year, and a new one here coming up. Uh, that's doing well. I think it says summer fruit on it, so fruits on last year's canes and uh, not on the new canes. Let's see if I can see any flowers on it. Hopefully it will have some. And strawberries in these. I'll try and get my shadow out of the way. Uh, in here is current cuttings. I decided to move them into these pots. Uh, this pot, uh, they're wearing a massive pot, so uh, but they seem to have all done well. So I'll have to separate them out at some point and pot them up individually. Uh, this is grapevine, Chardonnay. There's lots more of these sycamore seedlings popping up. Uh, but this is doing well, it's got buds on it. Uh, so we'll see how that goes this year. And the maple tree, Japanese maple, doesn't seem to like the wind. <laughs> and rhubarb, might be able to take some off of this at some point. So I didn't harvest any last year because uh, it was a new plant uh, but this year I should be able to take a few there's a couple of good ones on there that's right, doing well and them two there are fig uh, they were cuttings uh, we'll have to see how they go they don't like the cold so we're in midwell so <laughs> we'll see and this is just more cuttings and stuff that I took last year. Figs and uh, Bodleia bushes. Um, they've dried out a bit probably, I haven't watered them enough. Um, all I've got in the ground at the moment is onions and garlic, so I'll show you these. Uh, so that's garlic in them three rows. They look to be doing quite well. And there should be six rows of onions here. So I'm head for need caught on the vent. <laughs> uh, so they've come up, they were set, so quite a few of them have come up. And these were just more onions and garlic which I popped in there at the end of last year and they seem to be doing well all right everyone uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, so I'm sorry if it was a bit of a long boring episode uh, I just wanted to get a full update in uh, mainly for my own records and to show you guys uh, what's going on and show you how I'm doing everything uh, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my lip there. I burnt, burnt my moustache off yesterday, I think, and I might just noticed. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.